Mohammed, I, I hope uh, I got a last minute call. Joe could make it, and uh, I hope everything should be all right now. Because well, you know, this is look like you just told me. We don't he was want coming. to stop any tapes or anything. We want to go straight ahead with this. You gonna be all right? Yeah, but you should have told me he was coming at least. I didn't well, here is Joe Frazier. Yeah. <laughs> What, what 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 do you call what do you call Mohammed? Did you, you, no, you I call him Clay. You call him Clay? Yeah. And uh, you you don't ever call him Champ or anything like that, don't you? How well, do you feel uh, about he, him? He what was a champ. I'm the champ now. You know. Uh, okay. Why why were you so why were you so mad the other day? I saw you on on television, the uh, news. Well, it is a thing like this, uh, Mike. I, I like go all over the uh, country, and uh, I don't believe in you know a lot of you know excitement anyway. Uh, like only time people know that I'm in town, you know, is like uh, if I pay on a show of uh, maybe of uh, let's say a banquet, and uh, hear this guy come into my town, you know. First of all, he wants to run me out of the gym. Second, he wants to run me out of town. What do you mean he wants to run me out of the gym? He just, he calls up and says, I want to work uh, out or what? No, he come in and tell me I got to leave town. Now, I live here, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I ain't going nowhere, you know. Uh, next time, I think he's going to come up on Old Guns Avenue and try to put me out the house. <laughs> if I don't stop him now. Yeah, you want to stop him? Yeah, I'm willing to stop him anytime, any place, anywhere. You want to, but you want him to be in shape. You don't want to fight a man that's. Uh, uh, he said he's a little out of shape. No, well, I don't want no excuse. I mean, uh, that's, that's no excuse at all about that he's out of shape. I mean, otherwise, he's been training just as long as I was, and I'm not even fighting. Mike, you agitate me. No, but this. this. <laughs> <laughs> I also got a crazy pair of bookends on each side of but, uh, <laughs> I might be a tall, thin MC at the end of this show. Now, wait a minute. Now, now, Champ, you say that this man is only recognized as Champ in certain states, and you're recognized throughout the world as the Champ. And you have the belt. Well, he's, uh, you know, I mean, my problems have nothing to do with him. He's got to earn a living, you understand? And he's what he's got to keep. I mean, I wouldn't tell him to stop fighting because I'm having problems. With but do you tell him, call him up and tell him to leave town when you're here? Tell him to get out of the gym and all? Well, I didn't actually put it that way. You know. I just said the town. Well, how how did town, you put it? The town's not big enough for two world heavyweight champs. <laughs> this, this show might not be big enough either, you know. Yeah. Could, you, could you beat this man? Well, I'm three years out of training, about 25 pounds overweight, but... What do you I weigh right now? About 230. If I weighs about 210. What do you Maybe weigh? 20 pounds. I'm about 215, and my fighting weight about 204. But I think uh, if you have a chance to meet each other, let's say soon, I think I'll come down to about 200 or 99, 199, mm -hmm. so I can be fast. Is because I know I'm gonna need speed to catch it with him. You understand? <laughs> now, wait a minute. By that, are you implying that he's going to be running around? Oh, he's going to put his bicycles on, no doubt about that. Uh, I haven't Mohammed? Seen, I haven't seen Seven him days from that fight, you'll be a weak old ghost. That's right. <laughs> well, I don't know. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't look too frightened, but you mean before the fight he's going to be? You ever I, I look, the only, I, I, the only I time I'm afraid of that uh, I get frightened and nervous that he's not going to show up on time. That's what I'm afraid of. Is this fight a real possibility, Mohammed? All I say is this. I don't think it's justice to the boxing game that he don't have a chance to really show the world that he's the real champion. Not elimination or a political title, but the real physical title. It's injustice to him that he can't tell his grandchildren or he can't look his fans in the eye and say that I won the title from the man who was actually the best, and he should have a chance at that. Do you need a license to fight? Can you get it? Well, I really don't know. It's up to the boxing authorities, you know. Do you want to fight him? Well, I would say this. Uh, if I did, it would only be like uh, for the record of boxing. Like, I hold the title and I am the champion. 
and I, I really know I'm the champion, and he really, uh, financially, he's the champion, you understand? So see, look at those diamonds, can you get a camera on all those watches and rings? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hey, hey, the rules are you won't go beyond the microphone, guys, okay? <laughs> They, they was but you're going to see a real ghost here any second. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were his they watches were his and rings. His watches and Would this <laughs> settle the championship once and for all if you two? Well, well you have another, my sparring partner's called champion too, James Ellis. He's getting rid of He's box. your sparring partner? He was when I was boxing. And um, now he's fighting Henry Cooper in London, England. That fight's been settled. postponed, though. Have it? Yes. I didn't know. Cooper was injured, I heard. I think he and Ellis would have to have a showdown. And then after they get their two halves and make one hold, then possibly. Ah, no, but you, you, did, you did say you want to fight, uh, let's say, uh, both of us in the same night, five minutes rest. I said if I had to, I would. Right? I would if I had to. You, you ain't gonna have time for no wrestling with me, you understand? Because every time you breathe, you're gonna breathe right down on me because I'll be close to you. Every second. Would you like to go a few rounds here, guys? Huh? Well, you, you see, it's, uh, I don't mind. I'm not joking, that. seriously. I'm I know you're not. Uh, and I'm sure he's not joking, and I'm known for popping off and talking a lot, and I have no need to talk and boast. Uh, if I ever had a license or something, then we would seriously consider fighting him. So it's all up to the boxing commissioners and the people. Where would you like to fight? Well, do these, you ask these people, would they want to see us box? Would you like to see? <laughs> you you got to believe it. And that so sound will echo all over this country. Except, I mean, the people. If the people were voting, it would be on. Just, just a few. If you had your choice of, of locations, where would you want to fight, Mohammed? Well, I think? don't really know. I think well, it really doesn't make any difference to me. I mean, I was getting ready to get it on down to the gym yesterday. That's, that's big enough down there for me. Yeah, but you don't want to do that. I mean, this is going to be, this should be the biggest gate in history if you two meet. And you don't want to do no, it in the gym or all that. Where would I want to fight? Yeah. It doesn't make no difference to me, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, in hell, be this is good, you know? If uh, you permit it, uh, they permit it, you know, right here, it's good enough. It doesn't make no difference. Well, Muhammad isn't in shape, and he's how many pounds over? No, he doesn't no, have any no. trunks. Besides, fighters don't fight with uh, with their bare knuckles anyway anymore. You got to, I mean, your hands have to be managed. And Supi's sitting yeah, here with. Yeah, these are dangerous weapons. These are registered. Uh, Why are they dangerous, Supi? Well, because they have nails in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to. I want to wish, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to wish the best of luck to two fine athletes, Joe Fraser and Muhammad Ali. Yeah. No one could possibly follow his audience, the inmate. I want to try three of the baddest ones in here, man. <laughs> Tell me what the, the bad ones say. What cells are they in? The ones that told me bad. Just let me in the cell with three of them, and we'll see who come out. <laughs> I'm the baddest man in the world. I'm bad. I'll come in this jail, and I'll clean it out. It ain't a tough in the world to whoop me. I'm dangerous. Where are you such as that? Hey, I'm the baddest thing in the world. I'm the baddest thing in the world. I'm the baddest. They told me I was the baddest. Hey, man, you look like Joe Frazier. You look like Joe 